this is Kim Caldwell and today we are going to continue our chakra school and we're going to work on our sacral chakra with the intention of healing any feelings of loneliness or inferiority or that we don't fit in. Our sacral chakra is located between the base chakra and your belly button chakra and right there in the middle it's an orange chakra and we're going to work with it today and set the intention for beautiful clearings and to heal us and our relationships on many levels. Alright, let's get started. Please take a deep healing breath. I call Archangel Camuel to stand to our left. Archangel Camuel is the Archangel of Courage. And if you would like to be infused with his courage, you can go over to Together Publishing and enjoy a free audio there with him where he will help infuse you. On the right, I would like to call Archangel Michael and ask that he protect us and cut all cords and help us through this exercise. Yes, and take a deep healing breath. Now please shoot a grounding cord deep into the earth and connect with Mother Earth. Yes. And I want you to see the violet flames come up all around you. The violet flames are healing. They gently release anything that no longer serves us. So as we're working on this, we're also having the violet flames to heal us. Deep healing breath. And now, if you like, you may seal all this in an energetic bubble of light and healing. Sealing all the good in and allowing more good to come in. All right. With our chakra system, we hear about it all the time, but today we're going to work with it and we're going to actually start to visualize it and do some Neville Goddard work with imagination. Neville Goddard said that our imagination is the God Goddess energy. And we're going to see this sacral chakra at this area right below the belly button and we're going to look at it. You can see it how you like it. I'd like to present the idea that we look at it as like a sacred geometry, moving, swirling energy. And I'd like to see it orange, since the sacral chakra is orange, and see healing energies radiating there. Now also, I would like to present the idea that we can infuse our chakras with beautiful different energies, even possibly positive words or affirmations, whatever feels good to us. And let's infuse the chakra with confidence. Take a deep healing breath. With peace, with knowing, with feeling really good about ourselves, with connection to our higher self, knowing that the right people will come at the right time. Maybe some switch words if you like. Maybe together, divine love. You can look all through this site and find different information on your switch words. And infuse this chakra and start to see it and feel it and feel how it works. Kind of feel how it pulls at you physically. Feel how it affects your stomach. And start sending it some love and some deep healing breaths. All right, let's take a deep healing breath now. Now. We have our chakra infused and cleared. Let us go with the knowing that we have multiple, multiple timeline lives going on at once. Um, some people would call these past lives, present lives. And we're going to go in and do the work on healing and clearing them. If you have a situation that's going on in your life that is upsetting you now, that is not comfortable for you now, concerning anything to do with loneliness, to do with fitting in, to do with other people, or if anything comes to mind, maybe you had a situation in high school or different times in your life, please pull that situation to mind and let us go down our timeline all the way to the right and all the way to the left interdimensionally and let us see healing, soothing, violet flame moving up and down it. And let us invoke our Ho'opona. Ho'opona is the knowing and understanding that in other lives we have done things we're not proud of and now we're ready to clear them and heal them so that we can have a beautiful, wonderful life now. We do our Ho'opona, and I'm going to do it for you, with you, with a healing on our crystal. We do it by simply saying, and with the violet flame, to the situation, to the person, I love you, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I forgive you. Thank you. Take a deep breath. 
Now see the violet flame moving all throughout your timeline, moving all throughout all your lives, clearing, healing, any place. Any times you felt lonely, any times you couldn't fit in a group, any times you kept other people out of the group. We have all in our different lives been the bad guy, we've been the good guy, we've been the victim, we've been all different ones. So we're going to now set the intention to release all judgment and just let it be, deep healing breath. And we say again, our Ho'opono, I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I forgive you. Thank you. Deep healing breath. Again, see your violet flame moving all over the situation, clearing healing. Yes, the violet flame is oh so powerful. And the more you use it, the more you'll call it in naturally. The violet flame, you can use it anytime, anywhere, any place. Saint Germain is the keeper of the violet flame. You might want to look him up for more information. And the Andara crystals are hugely powerful clearing and hugely powerful wisdom for you. So as you gaze upon this now, you're being activated. You're being infused with wisdom of how to handle these situations for the highest good of all involved. And you're being cleared by setting the intention and asking to be cleared. Deep healing breath. This is a piece of citrine. Citrine is also a stone you might want to keep keep around. It's a stone for um, feeling safer, feeling better, feeling less despair. But I want to say that in our lives, sometimes we will have despair, we will have sadness, we will have hard times, and this is okay. We work with it, and we take it as an understanding that it is a knowing, and it can bring us to go do more work and to go inward more and to know ourselves better. With that said, I'm not a doctor. I'm just a mom and wife, so if you need qualified professional help, please seek some that, is, that, that you've got great referrals on. All right. Practice this. Practice working with your new knowing that we can see our chakras and move them around. Practice with your violet flame and your ho'opona. It's amazing. If you'll start saying, if we could see, some people can see them, some people could not. If we could see these other lives that we're participating in now, we're all human. We all do things that we're not proud of. And if we can say to them that we're sorry and clear on them through the Ho'opona, magic will happen. All right. I hope this helps you. I send you peace and blessings. Thank you, Kim.